One thing you'll notice when shunting the E1 with a trailer is the lack of shunting panel on the trailer. This necessitates movements to be made propelling and a procedure exists for this. So to set up for a propelling movement, in this panel, as usual, batteries on release the brakes. Set all three door positions all three door switches to vertical. This lets you move around the depot with the doors open, which would obviously be unsafe when carrying passengers, but as you'll need to walk from one end to another quite frequently, it's quite useful. Set the master controller to the first reverse position and move the master switch one position forward, then remove the controller. Make sure the parking brake is in the release position and the master switch is set. Then walk to the motor vehicle's shunting cabinet and unlock it with your key. You'll notice your friend has now appeared to help you with your propelling movements. This panel is similar to the other vehicles. You have a door control switch, a sander, a bell and a door release and a brake release switch. So to begin your movement send one bell to the shunter who will then give you the status of the line ahead via whistle. One whistle as is presently occurring, indicates it is safe for you to proceed. If you were to receive three in short succession, that would indicate that you should stop. We're going to stop here just onto the road to cause maximum disruption and ensure we are clear of the facing points. That'll be nicely disruptive. Then remove your key and lock the panel. You will get an alarm now, because as the shunter leaves the motor vehicle, leaves the trailer, they have very helpfully returned the doors to the normal position, so you don't have to walk. So returning to your cab, set these two switches to vertical, which will cancel the alarm. Insert the driving controller. Close the doors, then place the power brake controller to neutral, move the master switch two positions forward and you are ready to move.